So Under Armour and John Speed have a new shoe out for 2018. It's called the Under Armour Speed 2. And this follows up from John Speed's first signature shoe which came out last year called the Speed 1. Makes sense. Uh, we didn't actually hear a lot about this. Uh, normally you hear a few months beforehand that uh, you might see a few kind of sneak peeks from the brand. But it kind of crept up on us. Um, that we got to see it for the first time out in Orlando at the PGA show and then we've been out at Hadley Wood in North London testing it out over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the two big new pieces of tech in the shoe are Gore-Tex, which is going to give you really good waterproofness and also breathability. That's obviously a proven piece of technology across a wide range of sports. You're also going to get a two-year guarantee for waterproofness with these shoes. And there's also strong TPU fibers being used in that upper of this shoe. Now the looks of the Speed 2, it is very, very similar to the Speed 1. It's still quite a narrow shoe, so when you look down on it, if you like that narrow, sleek design, you'll really, really like this. If you do have quite a big, wide uh, foot, you may have a few issues with comfort. Definitely one that you're going to want to try out. Um, they might have uh, different styles in the range that will suit your foot, but you may as well go and give them a try out. Looking down on the shoe you can still see the top two studs and a little bit of the middle two. Um, in the Speed one I did find that slightly off-putting. I know not everyone finds it annoying when you can see that and there are a lot of golf shoes where you can see the sides of the studs protrude as you look down on them. But it's a little better in the Speed two, you can see a little bit less of these. If that's something that gets your go like it does mine then it's something to bear in mind but I know most golfers probably don't really care about that but I do. There are score lines on the tops of these shoes towards the front. Now we actually thought we could use these uh, in terms of alignment. Um, brands aren't actually allowed to come out and say yeah, we put these on the shoe because we're trying to help align golfers up because you're not allowed to do that but it's definitely something that you could use those score lines for if you were so inclined. The look overall is kind of sporty and also quite technical. It's quite a nice marriage of those of those two things. You're not looking at them and thinking this is a jam packed just with tech. They've kind of thrown out the uh, aesthetic of the shoe. It's a really nice looking shoe, but there's obviously a lot of technology gone in there as well. Now, when it comes to performance, the Under Armour Speed 2 is a lot lighter than the Speed 1. Just from picking them up and having them in your hands, you can tell that. But also when you put them on your feet and you start walking around on the golf course, you'll really tell a big difference. That was one of the big things that the Speed 1, um, the critics of that shoe said, it's just too heavy. Um, it wasn't a ridiculously heavy shoe, but um, some people did have issues. So they'll be really happy to see that it shed some weight for 2018. It's also, it's uh, at the front end of the shoe, I felt there was a lot less resistance as you walk. Sometimes that part of the shoe can feel a little bit stiff, especially when you first put them on, but maybe we've been wearing it a couple of weeks, and it just feels like it's a lot easier to walk in, and that really adds um, to the overall comfort levels of the shoe. They do feel very, very nice on the foot. We didn't have any issues. I've played 36 holes in these um, in a single day and not had any issues with comfort in them. Having said that, if comfort is the primary thing you're looking for in your shoe, there will be other shoes that are more comfortable, but perhaps lose out on other areas such as uh, feeling locked into the shoe, stability, those kind of things. So it is, while it is very, very high in comfort, if you're just looking for the most comfy shoe out there, there's probably something else that's more suited. Stability-wise, yes, there's a, been a big improvement in that area as well. We felt really close to the ground, closer to the ground than we did with the with the Speed 1. Close to the ground and also like we're just a bit more connected with the ground through the swim, which is important, obviously, in keeping balance and getting maximum energy transfer into the ball. Uh, so that is, that's an important area of the shoes. Under Armour still using the same grip system in 2018. It's the RST cleat system uh, at very good levels of grip last year, and that continues in 2018. It offers good levels of grip. Um, you're not going to have any issues with slipping and sliding around. 
in conclusion, it's definitely an improvement on the Speed 1. You're getting a drastically lighter shoe in 2018, which is kind of what everyone was crying out for uh, after the Speed 1. You're also getting a shoe that's a bit more comfortable and a bit more stable. Uh, it's going to cost you £160, which is £10 more than the Speed 1 uh, when that came out last year. So make sure you get out there, give them a test yourself. If you liked the video, please comment below, give us a like, head to our social media feeds on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And thanks for watching.